Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create this social proof widget over here using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called social proof and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's create the necessary file. So let's create a new file called index.html. Let's create another file called style.css. And let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you can just type exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So let's type link and press tab. And here in the SF, let's type style.css. Now in the body, let's go ahead and start with our markup. So the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division and let's give it a class of social proof container. And in this, we need to have two sections, one for the avatars and then the next for this section right here. So let's create a division with the class of avatars. And in that we'll have images for all these different people. So you can add the images of your choice. But for now, I'll just add images from a website called randomuser.me. So you can just type HTTPS randomuser.me forward slash API forward slash portraits forward slash and you can add women or men over here. So I'll just type women forward slash one dot jpg and uh, let's save this let's go to our browser and let's see how it looks so i have this extension called live server installed in vs code so once you have this installed you can just right click over here in the html file and click on open with live server and here we can see our website is being displayed and here we have the image so in this way you can get all these images from the website and i'll just go ahead and duplicate this and uh, for the second one let's type women 2jpg for the third one let's add men and for the fourth one let's add women 3.jpg and for the fifth one let's type men 5.jpg so this will get random images and these are the images that we have all right now the next section is uh, this section right here so we just create a division with the class of reviews so let's go outside this and let's create a division with the class of reviews now in this we need to have this stars at the top and then we need to have this text so let's create a division with the class of stars and that will have each of the different stars. So let's create a division with the class of star. And here we'll add the SVG of the star. So I'll just get the images from heroicons.com. And let's go ahead and search for star. And let's click on this star. So let's click on copy SVG. Let's go back over here and paste it right here. And let's duplicate this star four more times. And now we have five stars. All right, the next thing we need to have is this text. So let's go back over here and let's go outside the stars division and uh, let's create a division of the class of numbers. And here let's tap join and uh, we have 20,000 in bold. So let's tap strong and here let's tap 20,000 plus others. And uh, here we have this text. All right, now let's go ahead and add CSS to make it look like this. So Let's go to a style or CSS file. The first thing we will do is we will bring everything to the center. Now this we are doing just for our design to make it look better. But if you're adding it in your website, you can skip this portion. So let's tap body and let's set the height to 100 viewport height. Let's set the margin to zero. Let's set the display to grid and place items to the center. And now everything is in the center. Now the first thing I'll do is I'll just change the width of the stars so that we can see everything clearly so let's go ahead and type social proof container stars or we can just type star because we have this division with the class of star and let's set the width to 32 pixels and now we need to bring all these stars one next to the other so let's target the container division i just type social proof container stars and let's set the display to flex right now let's target the social proof container so let's type social proof container and let's set the font family to Roboto, sans serif. And let's set the display to flex. And uh, let's add a gap of 16 pixels between the elements. And now we can see both of them are one next to the other. And we'll also align items to the center. Right now, let's style these avatar images. So for that, let's go ahead and type social proof container avatars IMG. And let's set the width to 54 pixels and height to 54 pixels. And let's set the border radius to 50% so that we have round shape and we'll also add a border 
of three pixels solid white and now if we go back to our design we can see that all these images overlap so for that we need to go back and uh, we need to add a margin left of some negative value so let's have negative 24 pixels and now we can see this is how it looks right now let's go ahead and style these stars so let's tap social proof container stars or star svg so we'll target the svg inside the star division and let's set the fill to ffd138 and we'll also set the stroke to the same color now for the last star we just need to have the outline so for that let's go back over here and uh, let's type social proof container star colon last child svg so this will target the last star and the svg in that so let's set the fill to none and now we can see we have the last star with no fill and with that we have styled our social proof widget using html and css so you can go ahead and uh, change these images and change this text and all those things over here in the css and the html all right so that's basically it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day